Hello and welcome. The map we are checking out today is Raid on Ion 5 Space Vietnam. The southern hemisphere of Ion 5 consists of dense jungle. Push the bugs back and destroy their tunnels and nests to regain control of the Park National Boomalin Nature Reserve? Maybe that's how that's pronounced. Mission info, jungle, day-night change, destroy hives with explosives. Important info, when the text place explosive charge appears over a bug hive. Move your unit near it. The explosive will be placed and you can detonate them manually. You can select the explosive icon slash symbol by holding down the left mouse button and hovering over it. Simply pressing the icon slash symbol is unfortunately more cumbersome. Complete all primary missions to advance in the mission. Okay, I think I understand. We'll find out. I hit okay. Let me proceed. German translation. Well, we don't need that. Colonel, apes, you know your mission. Search and destroy. Let's get started. Uh, no, not load. Save. Okay, well. The thing is, I kind of want to farm whatever weak bugs we can. Is there any more over here we can get rid of? No? Fine, let's go. Because the more weak bugs we can get rid of... The better. Moving out. Because if we can level up and get the Moving saw, then we will be Moving out. much more untouchable. Okay, please get rid of that tiger. Good job. Moving out. Log and load. Moving out. Log and load. Move out. Watch your spacing. Log and load. Move out. Watch your spacing. Moving out. Move out. They're so fast. Why are they so fast? I should be faster. Okay, once again, the idea is I want to... Uh, I want to farm bugs out of this one until we're level three. Moving out. Lock and load. If we do that, we should be... We should be set for whatever comes next. Alright, fine. I think that's enough. I do tigers keep coming from over there. Leave me alone. Okay. 
Okay, nobody died. That's good. Sure would not have wanted to reload that much. <laughs> that much grinding we had already done. This seems like it's gonna force damage on me if I move into here. Yeah, you see, they're gonna just chomp away at me while I'm in there. Somebody might even die. See, what the fuck? No, that's not okay. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take a forced loss here. A forced loss of one of these troops just because the bugs won't stop spawning. Let's see if we can get close enough without going into it. Yes, we can. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's said to like... It said it to like left click on the charge, but I can't select the charge. Because it's just going over the beehive. Or the bug hive, not the beehive. Ready to go. Watch the On the bounce. Move out. Now, is this going to soft lock us if this just. I think it will. Yeah, see, if we don't activate it in time, it just soft locks us. Because now we can't close that. How do we do this? There we go. That's how that's the way to do it. You have to like highlight the whole area like that. Whatever method it was trying to tell me in the in the opening, the holding it or whatever? No, we're not going to be doing that. Whatever that whatever whatever that description meant I couldn't get to work. So just doing that highlight over the thing that's the way. The MI are blind to incline, so yeah, of course, anything can sneak up on them from an incline. Moving out. Lock and load. Move out. Watch your spacing. Moving out. Lock and load. Moving out. They just really need to level up. As soon as they do, all these bugs 
won't be a problem. I'm just gonna stand here until they do. Start risking it with the uh, the tigers and all that. A unit has been promoted, sir. On the bow. Lock and load. Kill tiger bugs is a secondary objective. So there's. There probably was like 55 or something. Let's get some now. 46 I'm left. On the bounce. Lock and load. Moving out. Auto save that way, so it makes me a little worried. Let's go see what's over here first. Watch your spacing. That's a scorpion. That's really problematic, considering it has like woken up and started to walk, trying to find where we are. Especially because we can't recoup any of our units if any of them go down to a scorpion. That alone makes me want to reload and not aggro that scorpion. Just stand back here and shoot until that thing is gone. Oh no, not Bombardiers. Wow, what the fuck? Bombardiers on a mission where I only get one squad, huh? Well, we're gonna lame it out now. I really, if we're, especially with Bombardiers too, I really don't wanna face that Scorpion. I don't wanna reload a hundred times on this mission, so. So I hope we never encounter that Scorpion. But something tells me if there's one, there's probably more than one. It drives me wild how you only get the save confirmation like every other time. It always makes me want to double save because it very much makes me not trust it. Watch 
Something tells me we're going to be reloading a lot here. Yep, shoot it from there. I don't give a shit. We're gonna lame it out. I am certainly not gonna let us lose one of our troopers here. To the swarm of drones. We're gonna do what we gotta do, even if that means laming it out and standing back here and firing away. Empty. Moving out. It is clever, though, using these, uh, like the jungle areas, as a way for bugs to ambush. Like it looking like all of it's impassable, but then there's like one little narrow path a tiger can get through. Lock and load. That is a, a clever way of doing it. Moving out. Move out. Watch your spacing. Immediate airstrike on coordinates, uh those. Okay, that's nice. Where's the fight? Moving out. Glad we don't got to worry about that one. Watch your Moving out. There's that one from earlier that still worries me, though, but we didn't aggro it this time around, so we're all good. Okay. One more. Let's get moving out. Lock and load. Where's Two more tigers. Moving out. Move out. Watch your spacing. Moving out. Moving 
Well, that's problematic. Yeah, great. I mean, that really doesn't accomplish anything but making me have to, to reload. That's what those things always do. Let's get some out. Right, like... When you, when you lay those kinds of traps for the player... Like, I get it, it's supposed to be like Vietnam ambush thing, but... When we have no way of recuperating our losses, that's all it does is forcing the pr the player to reload. Moving out. You look at me. I'm doing my part. Move out. Let's see. Maybe if we go down here. Watch the spacing. Lock and load. We did it. Ambush defeated. Let's get Move out. Uh, moving out. Move out. Moving out. Move out. Watch the spacing. Move out. This would be a lot more dangerous if I did not pick the saw. Like, if you picked anything else on this run, it actually would be pretty rough. I mean, the engineers would be completely useless, but the, the rocket guys, they wouldn't be able to keep up with the, uh, the numbers that well. If there's, like, a tanker or something at some point... Well, the rocket guys, I suppose, they certainly would be able to deal with the scorpions. That's for sure. Whenever those become a problem. Is this just gonna pop out forever over here? Is there supposed to be a hive right here? No, there's there were just a bunch of them. Moving out. Watch the spacing. Move out. But yes, if there was tankers, that sort of thing, the rockets Moving would out. certainly come in handy for that, but Move out. There's been a few times Moving here out. where the tigers have gotten rather close and I have been thinking to myself how if you still have the standard guns or even with the rockets that it would be rather problematic. Only available when all primary missions are completed. Moving out. Okay, another explosive. Lock and load. On the bounce. Move out. This is a neat idea. So you can actually visually see the difference. Good work. We're occupying this outpost. Rest and await further orders. Thanks, sir. Eight hours later. Uh-oh. It's going to turn into a night mission. Oh, I think they got through that door, even though it didn't visually change. Ready to 
If we can actually, like, use this to reinforce... No, zero dropships. I was gonna say, that would have been a nice checkpoint if, say, if, like, a different player had gotten to this point and had lost one or two troopers. It would have been frustrating if they got here and they weren't able to use this. Yeah, we can't, we can't capture it either. You looking for the A squad? Though maybe it deleted the old one and gave us a fresh squad. I don't know if the losses would have carried over, but I did just have to make a new control group, so maybe it would have. Move out. Dropships on standby, ready for orders. Now we have a dropship. But we still don't own this outpost, so I don't know if we could use it for that. But maybe we could. I'm doing my part. Moving out. Move out. Watch I'm doing my part. I'll wait to find out if we actually have any losses. I'll try to uh, I'll try to do it that way. See if we can just go back and heal rather than reload. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, that area where we got ambushed over there, where we would have suffered losses. Like, as the player, you don't know. You don't know if the... If the map maker is going to be generous enough to give you a way to... To recoup those losses at some point. All you know is, right now, there is no way to do it. Right? Like, we just lost somebody there. So let's see. Yes, we can do that. Lock and load. Move out. Lock and load. I'm doing my part. Okay, and I see the, the detonation gimmick has been removed. You, looking for the A squad? Move you can do something with the detonation gimmick where... It, I'm sure it would be extra trigger work, but you could do something where it's regular hives like this. And instead of bugs constantly streaming out of them... It's like, if you don't do the detonation in X amount of time, then the, the hive repopulates kind of thing. So it could be a way to permanently get rid of the hive. Like in like in Starport Sweep, where if you're not if you're not quick enough, the hives come back. Or at least like the main super hive does. Now that I have a means of uh, recuperating those losses, we can just keep pressing forward until until it truly becomes unmanageable. Even though we're nerfed, we have lost a uh, one seventh of our strength. Ooh, well, and the, oh well, now we gotta go back. Just like that. I'm doing my part. Better run fast. Move out.
Nope, no priorities. I can't make them priority target tigers or something like that. Ready to go. Amazing. They don't they don't prioritize the uh the single tiger in one instance, and all of a sudden they're all dead. Ready to go. Let's get some bugs. Watch your spaces. On the bounce. Move out. Watch your spaces. I'm doing my part. Watch your spaces. Lock and load. Move out. And that's the thing. If this was not a, uh, like, load. obviously all of these videos are, like, first impression videos. Where I'm going through Move this out. to show <laughs> what it's like when you're doing it for the first time. Because a lot of people... They'll play these missions like two or three times first before they put a video up. And that's not a that's not a realistic way of showing what the map is like, not at all. Watch that's like showing after you've already learned all the tricks and traps how to clear it. And that's that's sure not what this channel is. This is the channel where we fall for all the traps one by one and reload after all of them. <laughs> All right, one more. One more done. Ready to go. The bounce. I'm doing my part. Move out. On the bounce. Move out. I'm doing my part. Move out. I'm doing my part. Watch your spacing. Move out. Moving out. Those videos where people Move do out. already know all the all the tricks and traps and go through it the most efficient way. What surprises me is that some people think I don't know if some people think that like those people are just like super good at the game and they just anticipate everything and they they just solve all the problems as they see them like that is certainly not is not what is going on there it's like really it's like their third time playing the map you know on the bounce. it's like i don't got time for that i can't play these these maps three times before i do the first video before i before i actually record a video no way there's been plenty of days where we've been, like, releasing two videos, two maps a day, right, for videos, and, like, I still have never caught up. It's been, like, a year of me doing, like, two maps a day for the most part. Sometimes I've shifted to other things, but for the most part, it's, like, one one map at least, and on, and on other days, it's two maps a day. And I've still never caught up. Oh, that's why they were weaker. I just realized that's why they were weaker and they died to the the tiger. They took away my saw. That's why. Didn't even notice till now. No wonder. No wonder they died to a small group like they did back there. I mean, that proves what I was saying that those other situations that we got into when we didn't have the when we did have the saw. When I was thinking like, man, if we didn't have the saw right here, we would have got chomped for sure. That that just con that just confirms it. Move out. Watch your space. Lock and load. Moving out. Lock and load. Watch your spacing. Moving out. Though I did start a experimental no commentary channel 
a while ago to see what it's like if I restrict myself and I don't save it all and go back through maps I already know. And yeah, it is definitely doable when you know everything that is coming in a map. But certainly not going to do that on my first my, my first go through on these, that's for sure. Not going to get 90% of the way through a map for like a, a tanker to pop up underneath my feet or something. Kill my squad and be like, oh, you got to start over. You know, it's like no way. Did they come out of this? I think they did. Okay, what is, uh, no, not options. Get me out of here. Looks kind of volcanic a little bit. Move out. Or, no, that's just the lighting. That's just one of those, like, red lighting sources that you can put around in the editor. Yo, what? Oh, I thought that was gonna bomb me. Great, waste that, waste my advantage. Come on. Yes, that certainly would have been a lot quicker and easier if I had chosen the rocket guys, but everything else would have been much harder if I had done that. I'm sure the idea behind that was a a sort of uh, a boss fight for you to do. Maybe we should make our way up towards this two first. If we can, it doesn't look like... Uh, what is this? Okay. Sure. Listener on the roof. Yes, sir. Engineer, roger that. Sir, roger that. Tell us what to do. Affirmative. Sir. Stash your tools and move out. Roger that. Engineer, 
Engineers reporting. Troopers, listen up! Engineers, now hear me! Engineers, follow me! The hives don't have tigers or anything else in them. They are still just warriors, so really this is no big deal. Curious that they would suddenly give us this many troops, right? I think we still could have easily cleared these with what we had. Oh! Affirmative. Come on, people. Standing by. Yes, sir. Roger Royal guards are certainly problematic, though. Yes, sir. What do you need? Roger that. The Royal Guard without the Rocket guys certainly would have been very problematic, but... Yes, sir. If we only had the... Sir. The Saw Troopers, but we still could have done that too. Yes, sir. Probably would have had to reload a couple times, but we could have done it. Would have had to hit him with a grenade and then like run and fire on him until, uh, until he was done. Now hear this! Stash your tools and move out! Okay, we're gonna reload, because I want to see if we can do it. That final area without any of the, uh, the additional support. We let one... Oh, no, there he is. I was going to say, we let a tiger bug live? No, he was right there. We've got a unit under attack. Come on. Sir. Roger that. Engineers. I wonder if that scorpion we saw earlier on was supposed to be the one we saw bombarded. Let's get some fun. I wonder if that was supposed to be like we see it walk off and then and then we bomb it when we get to the higher vantage point. You looking for the A squad? Ready to go. Moving out. Move out. Lock and load. The the most problematic part of this is that the Royal Guard seems to be close enough to this hive that I don't think we can clear this out without aggroing it. Move out. Okay. You're looking for Moving out. Move it out. Trying to play it safe here. Moving out. Ready to 
Run! That guy's so fucking dead. Okay, well, we did that. We got rid of that, but now is our our DPS. Is it still strong enough to get rid of all these? It probably is. Six saws is still rather powerful. Is it power enough to take on the other tunnel at the same time? I suppose we're about to find out. Let's try and uh, Thermopylae it. This one's about to activate. Man, saying Thermopylae randomly like that, it, it brought to mind that the Halo show randomly decided to bring up Thermopylae, and uh, I don't know why, but like the Halo show randomly saying it, like, oh, I know Thermopylae. It was, it was, it was Mr. 117 himself that says it, and it felt so cliche to me. Like, I don't know why, but I don't like it when movies say anything about Thermopylae because it's so overdone and so, so cliche at this point, but. But, regardless, I actually was surprised. I did not enjoy Season 1 of Halo that much. I liked, like, certain parts of the action, but overall, I did not like Season 1. I cannot believe how good Season 2 is. Season 2 redeems Season 1 so much, it's, it's actually unbelievable. Like, I was, I was genuinely shocked by how good Season 2 is. It's wild. It makes me like, like, I actually can't wait till season three comes out. And I've not seen that many people talking about season two at all. Cause I think a lot of people just gave up on it after season one. Big mistake. I can't believe it. I, I actually, I actually cannot believe how good season two is compared to one. They brought it back so strongly. They really did well with it. There's still parts of the story that don't make any sense. A lot of stuff they changed. It's like not canon at all. The entire show, right? Because they they did a bunch of stuff out of order. Killed characters that aren't supposed to be dead. Brought in a bunch of new characters. Did things way before they were supposed to happen. That kind of stuff. But it doesn't matter. It's still great. But all right. Regardless, that's where I'm calling it. I was right. We were still able to do this easily with them. Alright, thanks for watching, goodbye.